Hi there and welcome back friends of a thoughtful gaming experience. This is your host Emmanuel Ken. Going to proceed with our let's play and explore Torment Tides of Numenera. Beta access. We have just talked to Sir Arthur. Uh, a savant of uh, all the worlds of worlds of Tides of Numenera. But we're still trying to explore the fifth eye and the, the guests here. For trying to find the adversary powerful psychic force and we're trying to win a bet who of the old heroes of the endless battle is just a projection we bet it's the barkeeper but let's talk with all people in this tavern again oh and there's something hidden here let's look at that first what's in there Lord's Cup and Zoful. Let's take that. Let's look at that too. Let's distribute it so we don't have cipher sickness anymore. What is that? It's might. Interesting. Aha. Okay, it gives you a buff for a short time. It's about might, so it will go to Tiber. There's the Lord's Cup. This drinking cup changes color depending on its contents. With careful years of study, a person could craft a reference book and use the cup to identify all kinds of liquids, perhaps even poisons. Indeed, it is possible that someone has already compiled such a book. But if they did, it was separated from the cup long ago. Ah, interesting. The Lord's Cup. We could decipher the liquids here. No, what are there? There's a ghostly woman, there's the soul keeper, and there's Isk. And I suspect these two have something together. Let's talk to Isk, but now first. Hello there. The most distinguishing feature of this tall, vaguely awkward man is the yellow shirt he wears. He seems desperate to fade back into the scenery. When he sees you notice him, he gives you a faint, uncomfortable grin. Something about him seems off, as if he were a flicker in the air or strangely two-dimensional. He does not seem to emit a sense of presence at all, and is he an adversary? Who are you? Erin called Isk. He almost whispers, I am not, not here. Can you tell me anything more about yourself? No, this is like a dream to me. Can you tell me anything about the people here? Shakes his head as if terrified to meet your gaze. Can you tell me about this place? Nothing. Why can't I sense you? Skist, he mutters. The yellow shirt fades away and then the skin, muscle and bone what remains is a vaguely humanoid shimmer. I am Isk, Erin, a trans-dimensional projection from a distant past. It wavers briefly. I have limited time here. Speaking wastes energy, make questions count. Is there anything here I should know about? Beware malaise. It echoes in time, almost ate me. Can you affect this reality? Only words, not like Abacus, ghost creature. Need pen-dimensional weapon to hurt. How did you get to this place in particular? When casting through time saw light, drawn to civilized thought, admiring psychics. Where are you from? Distant past, epochs ago, tuning through time to see future, overshot. It shrugs vaguely. Maybe next visit. Farewell. Goodbye. And now that was something strange. We need to beware the malaise. And it is her. Wow. Let's talk to Almas, the soul keeper, first. For a moment, you are not entirely sure. If you look upon a construct 
or a human. The plastic sheen of this pale man's skin suggests artificiality, but if he is a construct, he is so cunningly constructed, so close to the human baseline, that the illusion is nearly perfect, except his head is a trifle too large, his eyes black buttons. Then you realize the truth. He is a visitant, his home many millions of miles distant. Almas, my name. Who are you? He lifts his great head slowly and fixes you with a dolorous gaze. I am Almas. I am the keeper of souls, last of my kind, sole survivor of a civilization that spent time and space. Now they are gone, their stars black. Reality's winds carry me. He turns his head back toward his drink. What happened to your people? The highest cast of power. Controlled we minds, ideas, for all souls of empire, a great web we wove, shining with power, but other nodes they winked away until only I remained. His fingers drum on the tabletop. An image of people I carry, but no place to make it real. Our domain lost, I alone and paralyzed with indecision and fear, scanned thoughts. Did I destroy them? I was not discontent, or was I? Hmm. How did your civilization die? Was it the words of Kra? A doubt arose, it took seat, took flight. These thoughts connected to our network. His questions spread like disease, trust, mistrust rooted. Nodes decohered. There are nodes without control of dreams, the civilization falls, and then they are gone. I alone remain. Yeah, it might have been that, that words of Kra. What was the doubt that destroyed your civilization? I do not know. I do not recall. Scan thoughts I know. I recall. Hmm. Tell me the doubt that destroyed your civilization. I know you know. I do, yes. It was my doubt. Mine. My question. I ask only what if our way is not best? What if our people have desires of their own? Ones that we do not give. He places a single hand across his eyes and then slowly slides it away. The others begin to see and question. Question gave way to self-doubt. Self-doubt gave way to self-hate. I wanted only to know what is best. How do we become better? Not to tear us down, but I shone a bright light on behavior, on truth. But our center could not hold under truth. His wet, terrified eyes fixed on yours. Was I to blame? Is civilization's end affixed on me? In dreams I see their faces, but not their minds. Tell me truly, is the fault mine? Hmm. And as intellectuals, we can only say that his doubt was, was rightful. We will erase the doubt with a title search. You were blameless in this. Questions will make you stronger. Almas, the soul keeper, his eyes flare and the tears building within them vanish, replaced by a gleaming hardness. Yes, he whispers, yes. He slaps his hands upon the table. Yes, he grabs your shoulders. Connection restores itself. Doubt and fault, mine. A new civilization we build. Snatch old threads, place new minds. Extinction, death, no. Immortality. Through time I return. Across space I travel. Stepping through this shallow reality into a place where our beliefs are true and solid. This test I pass. His smile is anything but friendly. And rule I shall. He steps away from the table and holds his hands out, palms skyward. Rainbows coalesce around him and he is gone. An image echoes in your mind. Fear and fetters, an unhesitating rule of annihilating will, subsuming individuality under a blanket of enforced vision. You do not see a web of connections, as he described. You see a net, a noose choking out the lives of millions. Whoa. We have been to two t 
time travelers and we have sent them back. <laughs> what is this, really? This is so much to take in. What will we do next with this ghostly woman? We'll know in the next episode as this has gone on for a while. So uh, thank you for watching or listening in that case. Uh, please come watch again when we yeah, explore the fifth eye even more. Happy gaming to you. This is Emmanuel Ken signing out for you. <laughs>